this is our dash. We got the airbag sensor on and the oil service inspection light. It's very low. That gearbox one usually goes off as soon as the engine actually starts up. Um, having run the test already, unfortunately it is all in German. Airbag. It tells me that the variants are in fact the look at the errors. We shall clear the error message. Error memory has been cleared. F1. And we'll put this with the car. And we have two errors. Sea occupancy detection and uh, let's see if this picks up. Yeah, it's front passenger seatbelt tensioner, both non sporadic. So we may need to get one of those. After that clean, we're now down to only one error. Get the lens out. What is the lens saying? God, it probably looks terrible. I need to use my body to block the sun. Uh, Seatbelt passenger tensioner. Uh, Seatbelt tensioner, front passenger, resistance too great. So if you want to try bridging those, we'll see how that looks. Yeah, but we've got rid of the uh, pass, uh, the occupant detection code. So that's this one? I guess so. That would be this one here. Just coming through this unit here. Yeah. Look at the sill on this is so high. Uh, not to break any tire, do they? Well, it's like. I mean, that's where the strength of the car is. It's, it's, a, it's a good. It's a good foot high almost. Oh, yeah. But that's, the reason for that is because that is literally the strength of the car. If you have a crash, that's going to get totaled. Yeah. And that's the car gone. Well, the MG isn't anywhere near that high. No, because I think the MG will probably relies more on the centre channel. I guess, or maybe it's yeah. not as rigid, I don't know. I don't know. Feels pretty rigid. Okay. And press it out. Light goes out and comes back on. Clear the code. Camera has been cleared. One. Now it's back. It's back. Yeah. Co now it's just co-driver, so co-driver, so passenger. It's still too high. Yeah. Well, I've got that bridge down like that. So. And this is how long with the wiring. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the um, one from the uh, driver side. Yeah. So what's the damage? Oh. So yeah, why is it a completely different plug on this side? Oh God. All right. Uh, turn on. Go away, come back. Clearing the cord. Starting the lead. And now we got two. Yeah. Uh, What's the other one you got? Just checking. Okay, we have got ignition circuit, co driver, and that one didn't. Oh, VK1, so I'm guessing it's. Uh, VK1? 
yeah, ZK1 versus ZK2 for the passengers. I'm guessing ZK1 is the uh, driver. Yeah, um, so ZK1 passenger seat tensioner, error currently active, value too high, resistance too great, failure not sporadic. So, yeah. that would indicate that the one over there isn't working at all, yeah. or it's, um, I've just, I've just switched it off, I've just reconnected this. Yeah. Reset the code and we'll switch it off and switch it back on. No, reset the code first. Yeah. Set all on. Okay. Clearing. Yeah, I have no idea how to do that. Yeah, it says no errors. Clear again, reading. Turn it off to the background on again. Read again. Yeah, and that's the passenger. Yeah. Yep. What I want to do is to measure the resistance on this. This thing. So I've got a feeling. It's actually going to be a wiring issue rather than a So the resistance on this, if I set that to 200 ohms. Now yeah, point zero, zero point six ohm. What's that other one? That point. Right, so I'm just going to do now is I'm going to plug this back in. The other one was six ohm, wasn't it? I think remember this had a cube leak, or not a cube, uh, what's the name, tight around it. Entirely possible. And this is going to the loop there, and it is double that. Coming out of here. All these wires need tidying up. Oh, this is a fucking mess. He's painting as well, isn't it? Still got some bus coming up there. Yeah. Um, well, that's where it's already been painted. Yeah. Or been treated once. Okay, so we're coming over here. And we are looking for... What right. Yeah, that's black black, isn't it? This one here. Oh, come, okay, so we're looking at, for some reason, it changes colour somewhere in the loom. Oh, look, yeah, so it's actually that. And and I yellow. suspect somebody has done something here to change that colour. I think that's the yellow, red, yeah. yellow. So it's, so it's yellow, red, yellow, black. black. So yellow, red, yellow, black. Uh, I can see it from all the way back here. Yeah, so it's, it goes round and it will come round and up and back into the box. Yellow, red, yellow, black. Okay, so driver side. Driver side is black, red, sorry, uh, yeah, black, yellow, Dark yellow, red. red, and the resistance is. Oh, an aircraft. 3 point ish 3 ohms basically if I then go to this one which is uh, black brown black brown black red sorry blue, blue black blue blue brown blue, blue red. red and that's this one here I believe oh, no, I think it's the one below it. No, you're too far over. No, you're in the right place, you're just too far over. 
No, it's not. Yeah, it's right there. I know, yeah, but what I'm saying is that those are not twisted. They're not twisted. But we do know they're the right ones because we, we push that out. Yeah, we? We, we, we've chested. So if I go to... Three, four. Three and four. I'm getting 12 ohms. Well, that would definitely be why it's too high. Yeah. And that's not actually connected to anything. No, that's just so that's bridged just out. The cable. It's literally just bridged out. So what we do now is we find out which one of those is high. Oh, well, that's both of them. And the easiest way of doing that is to stuff that into there. But if I get you to hold that onto there, that's going to be uh, blue brown. Brown. That's 13 ohms. 13 ohms, what? Red. Nothing. No ohms. Two. 1.8. So it's going to be the blue. Blue brown. Blue brown. Okay. Good to know. That moment of truth. Shift function F8, E36, body airbag, language just doesn't match, that's okay, uh, F4, clear the memory, memory's been cleared, that's good, engine off, back on, Light is gone. That's useful. F1. No codes found. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that means, don't you? Right. While the um, cats, this car will fast as one. Uh, hang on. One memory. What is that one? Is that transmission? No, this is. Oh, I just reread the memory. Da, 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 da. Some, it's new. I'll give it that. Supply voltage. Error currently active. Battery flat. Entirely possible. So. I mean, I, I reread it again. It's gone. So, do do a power cycle, would you? Yeah. No, rereading it again. Nothing's come back up. That's good. There's only 9.24 volts on this, so it will be flat. Yeah. Oh, what have I done? I've hit F1. That's uh, almost centered because we've been fucking around with it all day. Yeah. Well, that's a result. Okay, good result. Let's see if I can't figure out how to do the... Right, yeah, the next thing is the engine. Yeah. Okay, so I've scanned the... Uh, what do you call it? So to get to where this yeah, is... One second. You go uh, for this particular profile that they give you here. You go shift F8. Uh, you then go body, uh, instrument cluster. Yeah, it tells you the languages are bad. Then you go activate. And this gives you your readouts. Because we've done the oil for the gearbox and the main engine that's been completely cleaned out as you saw in the last one I may not have shown it but we flushed all the diesel oil out put proper oil in I don't think I videoed that and that has reset the dial here as well as the distance done so that's the trip it's been reset that's still the same 
two, three, one. That's good. I'm just going to scan the air back again. Hopefully, it's the voltage issue. Yeah, it's voltage. Yeah. Okay, so we think the voltage issue battery is dead from being used all day.